Howdy everybody, my name is Derek Christensen and I'm an attorney in Dallas, Texas who practices estate planning and probate. Uh, I am the owner of Legion Law and today I wanted to talk to you about beneficiary designations, why they're important, what they are, and how they're going to dramatically affect your life if you don't do anything about them. So I know it sounds a little dramatic, but bear with me. Um, but before I dive into that, I wanted to remind you guys how to reach out to me. Uh, you can email me directly at Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawplc.com, or you can uh, reach out to me on my website as well, uh, legionlawplc.com. So we have a contact us page. You can sign up for an appointment, no problem. Um, so with that, let's dive right in. I am going to talk about beneficiary designations, and this topic actually has a pretty close spot in my heart. Um, the very first time I ever ran into a legal issue with uh, estate planning was actually, I worked as a, uh, in a litigator's law firm. Uh, litigation, for those who don't know, is people suing each other over things, and I was in civil litigation, which means I was fighting with people with contracts and you know busted up uh, situations where somebody's violating something else. And um, essentially, my work partially was working with beneficiaries and trustees and people who wrote wills uh, to bust those things up. So my very first client was actually five children of a man who came into my office and all five of them said, hey, our dad just died and he had a trust. It was a well-funded trust, it was well writ. the attorneys drafted everything perfectly, but uh, he said in his trust that the IRA goes to us and we're not getting the IRA for some reason. So the $5 million, $1 million for each one of those kids was supposed to go to them, at least according to the trust. Now. Unfortunately, what happened was, and this is after charging them tens of thousands of dollars to do all this, uh, unfortunately, there is really nothing those children could have done. Because in Texas, at least, beneficiary designations are going to overrule what a trust or a will says. So let me dive a little bit more into that, but uh, essentially what happened was the guy died, he had five wives, the five children were from his first wife, and once he passed away, the wife was not willing to give up the $5 million that she inherited from the IRA and the kids were kind of uh, left in the cold for a million dollars each, which is just brutal. <laughs> so that's why they're really, really important because if you screw them up at all, very terrible things can happen. So, but before uh, you know, I tell you more stories, there's so many of them out there, let's figure out what they are. So beneficiary designations are the simple statement on an asset or a document that states who will receive the asset after the owner of the asset passes away. Now, I know that sounds kind of strange because you think, okay, shouldn't a will or a trust take care of that? But as I mentioned earlier, there are certain assets out there that simply do not listen to wills or trusts. It doesn't matter what they say. It only matters what the beneficiary designation is. And this is a 10 minute phone call and some paperwork and that's pretty much it. So beneficiary designation is extremely important for certain assets. Um, more specifically, assets like an IRA, a 401k, um, retirement plans, uh, life insurance policies, um, bank accounts even, uh, all these have beneficiary designations. And again, it does not matter what your will says or your trust. It matters what the beneficiary designation is. So a good attorney will sit down with you and say, what assets do you have? You'll list them all. And then he'll be able to pick out which ones have beneficiary designations. And he will sit there and professionally nag you, I like to call it, about making sure your beneficiary designations are correct. Because again, you could have the best will in the world, the best trust in the world, but it doesn't matter. So. Um, that is extremely important. And again, I saw people lose millions of dollars because they didn't make a 10 minute phone call. So that's how bad it can get. And that's why it's extremely important to be working with an attorney on that front. Um, as for beneficiary designations, they will supersede everything and they will be extremely important for those who are trying to make sure their estate plan is well in order. So work with an attorney, ask some questions. Uh, and again, those assets can range from all sorts of things, but you need to be able to pick out which ones have beneficiary designations and be able to figure out what to do with that from there. So last thing to say, my firm, we work with everybody on everything from start to finish, cradle to the grave, and we also do annual reviews. And specifically the reason why we do annual reviews is mainly because of beneficiary designations. Um, we always sit down, we always make sure they know, and, or your beneficiary designations are correct. And if it changes or if you phrase something incorrectly or whatever, bad things can happen. So. Uh, we do free, free annual reviews and we make sure that that doesn't happen. So feel free to reach out to us if you want to make sure your beneficiary designations are protected and well 
structured. Uh, again, you can reach out to me directly via email, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawplc.com. Or you can find me at my website, www.com, or www.com, <laughs> www.legionlawplc.com. So um, that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. So have a good day.